Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 624. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 623 to 625. Hey, in this trick here, we have a great trick that is going to involve the median function. Here's our setup. We have a start time and an end time. The hours worked are eight hours. Now, we know from other videos that time, this is a time number format, if I control shift tilde, tilde is to the left of the number one. I, I've wiped away the number format and I can see time is always the proportion of one 24 hour day. Control Z. So in order to do time calculations, you would have to always take the later time minus the earlier time. That gives you the proportion of one 24 hour day and then multiply it by 24. Now if that's confusing to you, please watch this video, Excel Magic Trick 5.1 that has all the basics of Excel time format and calculations. Now here's the situation though in this video we have a hurdle. This eight hours, some of the hours are past 4 p.m. and some of them are before. So we can do this in our head and say, okay, of the eight, five are before for the day shift and three are for the night. Now for whatever reason, the person that's doing this is like, there's different wages or different categories they need to break this apart into. Now the concept here is straightforward. Before we get into all the ramifications of this, let's just see if we can do a formula just for this time, right? Here's the hurdle. Well, this is a later time compared to the start time, right? So for the day, we say equals, in parentheses, the later time, that's the hurdle, because we've jumped over the hurdle, the end time is after the hurdle, minus this. That'll give us the proportion of one 24-hour uh, day, and then we multiply by 24. That gives us our five. Now, what about when we jumped over the hurdle, right? This, somewhere between these two times, we've jumped over the hurdle. We say equals, now this time, this is the later time minus uh, the actual hurdle, and then times 24. Now that's the concept here. The problem is we want to be able to type any two times in here and have it calculate. So here's what uh, most people do. We're going to look at the if, and then we're going to see a, a, a little bit more compact formula using the median. Now what we did here is we said first, remember this is for the day shift, if this time right here is less than this. Now think about what that means. If the hurdle is less than this, that means both the start and the end are way are past the hurdle. So in that case, day should record zero. That's the first possible thing that could go into this cell. Otherwise, please check if this time right here is actually less than the hurdle. That means both of these times are under the hurdle. Then please just do the straight calculation because this is all going to go into the day, later time minus earlier time. Otherwise, the only other possibility is that they're straddling the hurdle. So then for the day, we do our calculation we just did a minute ago, the, up, the hurdle minus the begin time. Now let's look at the formula for night. Again, it's 24 times one of these calculations, either 0, this calculation, or this calculation. So in this case, the if is dumping a formula, some number, into this uh, 24 times. Now here, let's look at this. This is for the night. If this end time is less than the hurdle, that means all of the two times and all of the hours would go here, so we want a zero in the category for night. Otherwise, if this end, uh, this hurdle time right here is less than this, then it means that all, both of these times are past the hurdle, right? So we say this minus this, and that would dump the whole calculation into the night category. Otherwise, it is, we're straddling the the hurdle here, some of the hours are before, some of them are uh, uh, after, and so we do our calculation like we did uh, just a moment ago, end time minus the hurdle, and that gives us the extra hours that only go into the category night. Now you got to notice something here, and this is true, anytime you have one, two, three different things that could go into the cell, and the three different things are determined based on a hurdle, you can use the median function. And here's the reason why. The median always takes the one in the middle. Now, let's just look at something here. This is uh, three. So the three, pop the three possible calculations are zero, 
and I'm in here, and the F9 key is not working, and I don't know how to evaluate it any other way. We could use, uh, I don't know how to do that. But nevertheless, we can do this in our head. What's 7 minus this? It's the whole 8 hours, right? That's this minus this gives us a proportion, which is 24 hours. What about this one? The uh, this one minus this one. Well, if this is uh, part of this is going into the night category. Anytime we do this calculation, it's going to give us all the hours, which is big. This one's going to give us just part of the hours, which is um, in the middle, and the zero is the smallest one. So the median will pick this one. Now let's go ahead and change this time here. I'm going to work from, uh, say, 8 to 2. Now think about this. Why did it give it a 0 here? Because 0 is a number, one possible number. This one right here is the whole time, right? The whole time, from there to there. That's the big one. But what's this? This is 2 p.m. Uh, sorry, 2 p.m. minus 4 p.m. That's actually a negative number, and I have no idea why my F9. No, I know why my um, F9 is not working, because I had it as the hot key to turn off the recorder. Now I fixed it. Let's hit F9 there. You can see that uh, 2 p.m., which is an earlier time, subtracted from 4 p.m., which is a later time. Of course, it's going to give us a negative number. That should be the smallest. This one is the actual. 2 p.m. minus 8 a.m. So if I hit F9, it's 0.25. So what's the median, of a median, the one in the middle, between 0, uh, 0.25, and negative? There's the negative. It's the 0. I'm going to click Escape because I've hit F9 twice in my formula, which will wreck it. I'm going to click Escape. So let's see how the median function works. And I'm going to actually do a little trick here. I want to move this over. I'm going to point, highlight it, point to the edge, and hold Shift. And then I can see that gray bar. And when I see the gray bar in the place, I drop it. All right. Now, we're going to start with the night. We're going to do equals median. And we'll do exactly the same thing, three things. My, uh, zero is one of the possibilities. The One of the other possibilities is the straight when for night, when both this minus this, both of these are above the hurdle. Or when we're straddling the hurdle, we have to take uh, whatever the end time is minus the uh, hurdle, right? So median, we'll take um, those three and take the one in the middle. Uh, 12 a.m., why is that? It's, it's sucking the format from up here. So if I control shift tilde, I can see that it is 0. Now let's go ahead and uh, highlight this and hit F9, and highlight this and hit F9. And you can see, sure enough, uh, that is the one in the middle. Now, remember, the median function can be used anytime there's a hurdle. That's the first thing. There is a hurdle. Second thing is, there's one, two, three things that could possibly go into a cell. Anytime you have that situation, whether they're numbers or formulas like we originally had escape here, whether they're whatever they are, you can use the median. Hurdle, three things, boom. Now let's do the day equals median. There's a 0, comma. If the time is uh, all below this hurdle, then of course it's the same calculation as for the night. It would be just the end minus the begin. Otherwise, if it's uh, straddling the hurdle, what do we want to do? We always have to take the hurdle minus the start time. Absolutely, totally cool. Control Shift tilde. Now, what did I do wrong there? Actually, I did wrong in both of these. I'm going to hit F2. You got to do 24 to get it back up to actual hours. And by the way, this 24 trick is great. You do your time calculation, get the proportion of one 24-hour day, multiply it by 24, and then you can multiply it by wage or whatever you want. Same thing here, 24. Now let's go ahead and test it. Now these are both under. Now I'm going to try one under and over the hurdle. So I'll say 6. And sure enough, we should get 8 and 2. Now let's try one, both of them over. 5 and 6, uh, 5 a.m. Let's try, f oh, well, that, that works, but let's try 5 p.m. 
and we get our 0 and 1. Totally awesome solution. Um, if you understand the hurdle, there's three things going in. Uh, this median is certainly a great solution as compared to this. All right, we'll see you next trick.